Hi, I'm Matt Blamire, lacrosse beat writer from Langster Newspapers, also starting a new blog called Lax Facts. That can be found at langsports.com. Go to the bottom right and click on the Lax Facts bug. I'm here at Comet Field, home of the defending league champion Penn Manor Comets. This is the 2009 season preview. Now in the 2009, the sections have been realigned and the league playoffs have been shortened. Warwick moves up from Section 2 to Section 1. They are joined in Section 1 by Penn Manor, Hempfield, Mannheim Township, and Lancaster Country Day, who has formed a new co-op with Lancaster Catholic. In Section 2, Cedar Crest goes from Section 1 down to 2. It will be joined by Lampeter Strasburg, Conestoga Valley, Ephrata, and Cacalico. The league playoffs will also be different this year. In the past, eight of the ten teams had qualified for the league playoffs. Now with district and state playoffs, that number now goes down to four. The league final will be May 8th, right here at Comet Field. It will be part of a doubleheader with the boys' final starting at 5.30 and the girls' final starting soon after. Let's take a look at Section 1 of the LO League and girls lacrosse. I think Section 1 is, hands down, the cream of the crop. In my opinion, the top four teams in the entire league are in Section 1. I had a chance to sit down with many of the Section 1 coaches a few weeks ago. Let's take a look, team by team, of Section 1. Obviously, my four captains jump right out. Jim Bradley, Maggie Brommer, Catherine Altdurfer, and uh, Kathy Weidman in goal. So the, those four are back, um, healthy. Um, uh, they were part of the... Uh, state champion field hockey teams. I'd like to repeat as league champions. That would be uh, uh, certainly a goal. Um, I, I think we have an opportunity to do well in districts uh, with this team. And I think that we, as a league, and some of our entries that will find their way into the state tournament are going to surprise the state tournament. Henfield is coached by Liz Hockley. They finished 9-4 last year, 12-7 and overall. They were the league runner-up to Penn Manor in the championship. The Black Knights lose Kirsty Bachman, Rebecca Johnson, Kelsey Fouts, Aaron Miller, Alexis Landau. They return Ruth Costanzo, Auburn Weisensell, Ashley Bupp, Kirsten Dussinger, and Brianna Hun. Coach Hockley's expectations for the season. The realignment of Section 1 makes our section even tougher than before. Having to play those teams twice this season should really shake things up. I look forward to the rising level of competition that our section brings. I just hope my team is ready to rise to the challenge. Um, biggest losses, Megan McDevitt on attack. Um, we also had Liz Rosenfeld and Jess Ford on defense. And then um, also on attack, we had um, Keelan McKendry, Kate Cook, and then Marsha Denlinger in midfield have the younger Rosenfeld, Rachel Rosenfeld. Um, we also have Molly Curcio. Um, and then we have our senior captains, Megan Lucas, um, Carly Gelrich, and Lauren Delellis, um, as well as midfield Margaret Horner and defensive Katie Ball. Um, we're looking forward to a good season. Um, we have a bunch of holes left, um, but we have an excellent freshman and sophomore classes um, that are coming up and they're going to fill the holes quite nicely. So we're looking forward to a really good season. Um, our two captains are Caitlin Landau. She goes to Lancaster Country Day. And uh, Dee Lee, she actually is a McCaskey student. And some other standouts, we have two solid goalkeepers, Mel and Liz. Um, and we have some solid midfielders like Casey Daggett. Um, it's going to be, it's, adding the new school definitely adds its challenges, but it's, I think it's a good challenge. I mean, you're working with new players to the sport, but you're also seeing some hidden talent that where kids haven't been able to have an outlet for a high school sport, of, the high school sport of lacrosse. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what actually comes out of that. Huge loss, Katherine Kirk. She was co-MVP of the league. Uh, with one of Penn Manor's players. So huge loss in her, a huge loss in Becca Spengler, who led our defense. She was an all-league all-star. And then we lost two other um, very reliable defenders. They were senior all-stars, Megan 
Klinger, and Shannon Merrig. Um, defensively, we lost a lot, but we have our goalie, Katie Stork, returning, and she had a 59.8 um, save percentage. Seniors, Dara Gorman, Hannah Hackman, Kelsey Zeswitz, Whitney, I'm sorry, Carrie O'Donnell, Carly Buckwater, and Kate Rossman. And along in that returning uh, batch is Whit uh, Whitney Reddig, who's a junior. Um, our success will depend largely upon uh, how well we can adjust and find the right combination of players to replace the defenders that we lost. Um, we're looking for some hardworking, um, communicating defenders who we can uh, teach team defense to. Uh, we had a great group that played good team defense last year. So our success will depend on that um, um, and also how well we continue to improve throughout the season since we're going to play these Section 1 schools all twice. You know, if, if we don't get them the first time, we're hoping that we'll be able to get them by the second time. My prediction for Section 1 would be Penn Manor winning the section again. I just feel they are head and shoulders above everybody else, but not far behind is Hemfield. Hemfield is the second best team in the section and is very capable of beating Penn Manor. After Hemfield, I would have to go with Mannheim Township, followed by Warwick, followed by Lancaster Country Day. Like I said before, I feel that Penn Manor, Hemfield, Mannheim Township, and Warwick are the best teams in the league. Unfortunately, they have to play each other in Section 1, but it will make the section very fun, very entertaining, and very competitive. Tune in tomorrow for the Section 2 preview. Back here at LankSports.com and LaxFacts.